Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Blessings. Blessings as you're coming in this morning. day, the Lord's day. Tag, share, like. Would love to know who's listening this morning. Would love to know who's joining us for another broadcast, another time of fellowship. Amen. God is so faithful. He's so faithful. Glory to God. Glory. I'm just so delighted that I get to sit here with you all. Glory to God. Glory. I'm almost done. Almost done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This is the morning the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, and we are so glad about it. Welcome to another day, another time to sit and to fellowship in the word and prayer and thanksgiving and worship. However, the Lord shows up today. I'm just glad I get to hang out with you for a few minutes. So welcome as you're coming in. Different ones who are joining us. Good morning, Courtney. God bless you. Woman of God, thank you for joining us on today. Amen. Bless you, Mother Walton. God bless you. God bless you. We pray that you are feeling well, that everybody is doing well. Amen. We pray, Mother Walton, that you're being strengthened day by day, week by week. Amen. That the Lord is showing his faithfulness to you. Amen. Blessings, blessings as different ones are joining us this morning. What a special day we are in today. What a special time that we are in. I'm so glad the Lord has his own calendar. Come on. The Lord has his own calendar. Yes, he does. He has a calendar, a biblical calendar for his people. And I'm so glad that we have been engrafted into, come on, uh, this great body of Christ. I'm so thankful for his grace and his mercy toward us and that we get to partake in, amen, the things of the Lord. You know, this is how this should help us to remember that we are passing through, come on, that we are pilgrims passing through, but we have another home, amen? We have another home. And when you, you know, throughout the year, as we stop at different times and recognize the biblical calendar, God's calendar, and God reminding us of his covenant with us and his faithfulness with us, you know, it's, it's just a reminder, come on, who we are and whose we are. So we're going to take some time and share a little bit um, on the Passover today and, uh, and then just share a prophetic word, I believe, that will keep us moving in um, our assignments and moving in the things of God and staying strengthened and encouraged in what God has called us to do. So we welcome you this morning. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Evangelist Wilma. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. And all that God is doing for you there in Washington, Navasota. I always get those cities mixed up. Texas, we praise God for you. Let's pray. Amen. This morning, Father, we love you. Father, we thank you. Glory, 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 glory. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
We thank you, Father. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercy, glory. We thank you, O oh God, for your grace, glory, hallelujah. We thank you for saving us, God. We thank you for pulling us up out of a horrible pit. We thank you for your delivering hand, your saving hand. We thank you, Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, for your son. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son. We thank you, Lord God, this morning for all that you've done and all that you're doing. We thank you, glory to God, for delivering us with a strong arm. We thank you this morning. We bless your name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You watched over us and you kept us and we're sitting here because of you. We're, we're here, uh, God, in our right mind because of you, Father. We thank you for the activity, the use of our limbs. We, we thank you that we got up and we walked to the kitchen. We walked to the bathroom. God, we thank you. God, for your goodness, for your mercy, you've been faithful, you have been good, and we come to celebrate you. We come to give you thanks on today. Ah, oh, yeah, mama mando. Yeah, come on, just worship a few minutes. Just worship, just worship him. Glory, glory. He's so worthy. Come on, just right where you're sitting, right where you're standing wherever you are. Glory to God. If you can just take a minute and just bless him with the fruit of your lips. Come on. Don't thank it. Open your mouth and bless him. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to the lamb. Glory. Glory to the lamb. We invite you, Holy Spirit. We invite you, Holy Spirit. Uh, we invite you, we have a week in front of us. We have a day in front of us. We invite you. Oh, mama, mama, she. We invite you. Oh, God, we ask you to forgive us this morning. Anything that's not like you, God, wash us and cleanse us and forgive us, oh, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give him thanks, saints. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Hallelujah. He's so worthy this morning. Hallelujah. He's so worthy. We bless him. He's so worthy of our praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know him as Jehovah Jireh. Come on. He's been our provider. He's been our provider. He's been, hallelujah, glory to God, your provider. When you didn't know how you was going to take care of this and how this was going to be covered, hallelujah, he was Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah, that's why we bless him. Hallelujah, he's been our peace, glory. He's been our shalom, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. When our minds should have been scattered and overwhelmed and stressed out, hallelujah, he's kept us in perfect peace, come on. Glory to God because we kept our mind. Ah, Yebasha, Ema Mando, Rabasha, Iko, Rabasha. Thank you for being our peace this morning. Thank you, Lord. You've been our peace. Hallelujah. You've been our provider. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him. Thank him this morning. Glory to God. Come into the week giving him thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's faithful. Hallelujah. He is good. He is good. Hallelujah. He's the center. He's the center of our joy. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. We give him thanks this morning, Remnant Nation, and to each one of you, hallelujah, that are joining us. Glory to God that are coming on. I'm going to get to the comments. Glory, but my heart is happy. Come on, my heart is joyful. Hallelujah. I just want this joy to just spread. Hallelujah. Across this broadcast, the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord be your strength today. The peace of God. The peace of God overwhelm you today. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for another time that we get to come and just sit with you, God's dear people. We get to just uh, share some of my worship time and share some of my devotion time with you. Because that's really what I see, you know, that I just get to share a little bit of my time with the Lord. I get to sit here and share that with you all this week, you know, and sometimes... You know, you know, God moves differently every week. We just really never know how Holy Spirit is going to speak because as he's speaking to you, he's speaking to me. As he's encouraging you, he's encouraging me. As he's strengthening you, he's strengthening me. Come on, we in this thing together. Come on, the Holy Ghost, glory to God, is downloading, hallelujah, to each one of us. Glory to God. And even as we come into this new week, week. We decree blessings over the week. We speak strength over the week. Come on. We, 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 we speak the, the, the abundance of God over the week, the, the, the glory of the Lord overshadow you. Come on, that your heart stay happy, that your heart stays happy this week, that the strength of God sits in your life this week. Amen. And all that God wants you to accomplish, all that you need to lay your hands on, that it gets done this week. Come on. We're taking this thing week by week. All right. We're taking it week by week. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To you that are joining us this morning, I see a sister Barbara. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for just your love this morning. Woman of God, God bless you. Blessing sister Angela. We see you on this morning. God bless you. Woman of God, pastor Gloria. God bless you. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord. Glory. Come on. We in here together. Amen. Hallelujah. Moving in the things of the Lord together. God bless you. God bless you. You know, I just want to move in quickly. I know this is a one of the Lord's a holy days today, so I'm not going to take too long today, um, but we are going to obey the Holy Spirit. And so um, many of you know that we are in this um, sacred week this week, the week of Passover, uh, a time that God um, instructed the Israelites, the Jews in the book of Exodus. Um, in Exodus chapter 12, he um, gave them instructions, instructions, and I was just saying this in the beginning of the broadcast, you know, that it's such a blessing that God has his own calendar, you know, that 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 God has a biblical calendar uh, that that really is the, the timeline that our father follows. You know, we have we know that we have our Western calendar, that we have the calendar that we also follow. But there is a God calendar and that is um, the calendar that really uh, is 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 managing everything that's going on. It, it is it is determining all the seasons that we are in and even um, how things are how things are uh, coming forth, all the prophetic things that are coming forth. It's all based on this biblical calendar. And as I was opening up today, what a delight, what a privilege that we've been engrafted into this great family, this family of the Lord. And we are not, I'm not Jewish, no, but we get to celebrate and we get to uh, 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 give God thanks, even as our Jewish brothers do. And they're thanking God for bringing them out of Egypt. This Passover there, this is a memory. This is in remembrance of God's faithfulness. And you know, even that, you know, just speaks to me so powerful because you ever seen people that you do something for them and they just like forget and don't know how to come say thank you and, you know, don't remember you, don't remember. But look how God puts this on the calendar. I need y'all to remember hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, but I need you all to never forget Come on, what the Lord 
did for you. And I, and I believe that even that speaks to us today, that God brought us out of our own Egypts. God brought us out of our own sin and out of our own places, you know, that had us bound and, you know, just our original time of salvation. God brought us out. He saved us from a horrible pit. He saved us. Come on from sin's door. He, he, he saved us. And, but then as I was teaching on this past Saturday, that, that, that he just keep on saving us over and over and over again. And here in the book of Exodus, this is what we are remembering today. It's Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. It says, now the blood shall be a sign for you on the house, houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Verse 14. So this day shall be to you a memorial. Look at this. And you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it as a feast by an everlasting ordinance. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall remove leaven from your houses. For whoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that person shall be cut off from Israel. Wow. This is what our Jewish brothers are celebrating today. They're still remembering. Look at, look at just the obedience of that. Something that was spoken in the biblical days. Still remembering the faithfulness of God and still following what God said to remove the leaven out of your life, to, out of your home for seven days to eat no unleavened bread. And somebody's saying, well, Cherry, how does that speak to us today? How, 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 how am I supposed to celebrate this Passover? How does this relate to me as a Christian? You know, leaven represents sin. When you look at it in the biblical, as you look at it through the studies of the word of God, leaven represents sins. And let us today, let us today, one, let us remember his faithfulness to us and, and remembering how he brought us out of, of the place of Egypt, sin, how he brought us into his marvelous light. Let us never, ever, ever, you know, you know how sometimes you see uh, preachers sitting in pulpits and it's like they've arrived at this place and they don't have to praise God and they don't have to worship. And you see people sitting up pompous and sitting up, you know, looking all like, you know, I've arrived and I don't need to praise God. I don't need to dance. I don't need to worship. No, 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 no. This scripture lets us know it's, it's, an, it's a memorial forever. You need to always remember you need to always give thanks. Come on. You need to always worship because of what he brought us out of. So I would say today, let us give thanks. Let us give thanks that he brought us out of this place called sin. That, that you even had a mind to want to get saved. That you were birthed in a family that even taught you the things of God. Or somebody witnessed to you. or However you came to know the Lord. And that we never forget. That it's a continual, God, I give you thanks. God, I give you praise for saving me. And then that it's a continual, God. Come on. This, this, that's why this, 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 this thing that's going on now that people don't reverence the Lord. Many can do anything and everything, live any kind of way and still be saved and, you know, say anything, talk any kind of way, can curse, can ridicule, can gossip and still say they're Christian. No, 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 no. See, see, it's days like this that we sit with the Lord and we say, Lord, if there's anything in me that's not like you, 
Come on. And you know, and, and you know the thing about it, it's not a mystery. Everybody knows the thing that you struggle with, the thing that could be that thing that challenges you. Lord, I want the leaven out. <laughs> I want the leaven out of my life. I want the weight out of my life. Come on. Glory to God. I, and you know, and, and we have to see how holy the Lord is. See, it's days. Glory to God. It's moments and days like this that help us to remember the holiness of the Lord. He's holy. He's holy. Come on. We serve a holy God. You can't just do anything. He's a holy God. He's righteous. Glory to God. And this is why he gave us Holy Spirit so we could have the power to live holy. Come on. He gave us within us the power for righteousness. And we know it's all by grace. We know it's all by mercy. But he has given us, come on, the Spirit of God to help us live this Christ-like life. And so that's what we celebrate today. We celebrate this Passover, remembering the Lord's faithfulness to bring them out of Egypt, to bring them through the Red Sea, to deliver them from bondage, glory to God, and bring them into a place called Canaan. What are you thanking God to for? How, how are you praising God today for his strong arm delivering you out and bringing you out and you remembering? I give him thanks today. Glory to God. Glory to God. And you know, I want to just share this last thing today on this Passover that I want you to expect supernatural help. That's something else the Lord spoke to me about this week. Expect supernatural help. We know the story. We know how God supernaturally delivered them out of Egypt. He supernaturally brought them out of this place where the enemy have them in bondage. Can somebody today expect supernatural help? And whatever you're dealing with, with whatever's going on, expect God to supernaturally help you. I want to read for you 2 Kings chapter 6 because God is releasing supernatural help. Even as he helped the Israelites come out of Egypt, God is going to help you in whatever situation, whatever dilemma, whatever is going on, we're going to expect the supernatural help of the Lord. Look at 2 Kings chapter 6, verse number 16. It says, so he answered, do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Somebody needs to write that down. This is a word of the Lord for somebody today. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Come on. We saw that with the Israelites. We saw all those chariots, Pharaoh, all of them coming, come on, to bring them back. But God's supernatural hand, you know the story, opens up this Red Sea so these men and women, children, can walk across and get to their destination. Can somebody hear this today? That God's releasing supernatural help for you so you can get to your expected end, so you can get to your destination. Come on. God is going to give you unusual strength I heard this in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse number 19. Not only is God going to, not only will you ex expect supernatural help, the help of the Holy Spirit. Come on. In a, in a season where when, when, when maybe it should look like you should lose and it should look like you should be defeated and it, should, it, it, it don't make sense. It, it don't make sense. Come on. 
He says, I want you to expect me to do supernatural for you. I'm going to help you in supernatural ways. It means it's not your hand. It's not just your strength. It's, it's not just your intellect. But I'm going to send people. I'm going to send favor. I'm going to send resources. I'm going to send supernatural help. God's letting you know, I see you. I'm Jehovah Rohi. I see you. Glory to God. And even, ah, my, 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 glory. And even as I help my, my children come out of Egypt, I'm abasiando, ebasha, I'm going to help you. Glory to God, I'm going to help you. Hallelujah, supernatural, supernatural. I'm going to touch the heart of that man. I'm going to touch the heart of that woman. I know you've been trying and talking and crying, and but I'm going to touch him now. Come on. I'm going to I'm going to massage the heart. I'm going to I'm going to speak to him. I'm going to speak to her. I'm going to touch that child. Supernatural help. Glory to God. And God says I'm going to also release unusual strength unusual strength. When the circumstances says that you should be somewhere in a corner, you should be somewhere with your head down, you should be somewhere feeling depressed and oppressed, but I'm going to release unto you unusual strength. Glory to God. Look at Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 19 says, the Lord God is my strength. The Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet, like deer's feet. And he shall make me walk on high places, on high heels. Come on. Glory to God. God, I, I just need somebody to receive this in your spirit today that the Lord God is going to give you unusual strength and he's going to cause your feet to be like deer's feet and you're going to walk Hallelujah. In high places. And the Bible says that he makes me. He makes me walk on high heels. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You may want to give up and give out. But this unusual strength is going to undergird you. And you are going to be able to, to rise above it. Come on. You're going to rise above it. And you're going to have the strength of the Lord. And he's going to make your feet. Hallelujah. He's going to make you walk in high places. He's going to make you walk in places called favor. He's going to make you walk glory to God above what's trying to destroy you. He's going to make you walk in high places. It's unusual. Come on, somebody say, I received that. Unusual strength. I need you to decree Habakkuk 319. I need you to speak that word over your life. Come on I need you to open up your mouth and say what God is saying about you right now. Even as he delivered the Israelites, glory to God. Even as unusual, supernatural help came, you got to believe that that's coming for you right now. That's coming for you right now. Glory to God. We celebrate our king today because he does what he wants to do. And he does it when he wants to do it. Glory to God. He's not, he's not governed by time. He's not governed by man's system. Glory to God. We said this on last week. Glory to God that God will cause you to glow in the dark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That God will, will you know, when it's, when it's just your time, your turn, and your season, he'll cause you to glow in the dark. Glory to God. He'll cause favor. Hallelujah. To find you. Hallelujah. In Psalm 62, I just want to decree the word of God over somebody today. Hallelujah. In Psalm 62. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. In verse number six, it says, he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense and I shall not be moved. Can we decree over somebody that you will not be moved? That as, as you expect supernatural help, where the enemy has been trying to move you out of place, he's been trying to move you, come on, from, from a place called faith. He's been trying to move you from a place called peace. He's been trying to move you, glory to God, from your away from your assignment, away from from what God's called you to do, can you embrace this word that God is my rock and my salvation? He is my defense. 
defense. I need you to see the army angels of the Lord surrounding you. I need you to see the defense defense, high glory, the defense of God all around you, and you will not be moved. Come on. You will not. You will not be moved. And see, the enemy wants to move the people of God. He does not want us to stay in place because Psalms chapter one, glory to God in verse number three says he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That's why sometimes the enemy will let you hear gossip and he'll let you hear bad things that people are saying or maybe, you know, this will happen or a situation will come up to try to move you from your place of peace, to try to move you from your place of, you know, of, of momentum and moving in the things of God because he does not want you to be like a tree planted that brings forth its fruit in its seed. Season. Um, I decree over every one of you uh, that you will bring forth the fruit uh, that you're supposed to bring forth in the month of April, that you're going to bring forth glory, the, the fruit uh, you're supposed to bring forth in this quarter too. Uh, hallelujah. Because Psalm 62 uh, says he is my rock. He is my salvation. He is your defense. Stop trying to fight. Stop trying to explain it. Stop trying to defend yourself and and just accept and embrace it that he's your rock he's my rock come on he's my rock he's my defense he's my defense glory to god and I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Come on. That's why we are we are just expecting supernatural help. The help of the Lord. Glory to God. And you will not be moved because you're going to bring forth your fruit in its season. Your leaf is not going to wither. Your leaf is is not going to wither and whatever you do it's going to prosper come on what you do it's going to prosper. It's going to prosper. Don't let the enemy remind you of seasons where it did not prosper. Those seasons are over because there is more with you than against you. You are in a place called supernatural help. How many just received this today? How many received this word for, for yourself today? That as you walk through this day, as you walk through this week, Glory to God that you will say, I have supernatural help as God helped the Israelites, as God helped the Jews come out of Egypt. And all over the world, they're celebrating, they're, they're remembering his help. Glory to God. And he brought them out hastily. That's why they don't want 11 in the house. Because, you know, leaven causes the bread to rise. But they had to move so quick that they didn't have time for the bread to rise. They just had to move quick. Glory to God. They had to come out of that place. And sometimes God even calls you to have to move quick. Because where he's trying to get you to. You have to make quick decisions. You got to move sometimes quickly. Glory to God. For God's saving power. God's delivering power to get you out. I hope somebody hears this today. Glory to God. The Lord. The Lord. Who said expect supernatural help. I just pray that somebody has received this word. Jovanita says I receive it. God bless you, woman of God. Sister Myra says I receive this word today. Come on. Pastor Charles, good morning, sir. We receive it in Jesus' name. Evangelist Wilma, we receive it. Sister Courtney, we receive it in the name of Jesus. Mother Walton says we will not be moved. Glory to God. Glory to God. Bless you. Bless you, Brother Leach. Amen. He says I won't be moved. Glory to God. We honor the Lord. We honor the Lord today for each one of you. Amen. We're going to pray right here. And whatever the Lord gives you to do, I don't know how you, some of you may be celebrating this day or this week uh, in your own special way. Please obey what God has given you to do. Amen. In remembering him days of fasting 
days of sitting with him. Time, extra, more time, just sitting with the Lord in prayer. But more than anything, that leaven is so important. Whatever God's been dealing with you about, maybe it's a weight. Because see, everything is not a sin, but it's not good for you. Let this be a week that God, that you put it down. Let, let this, let, may, may, maybe it's an eating regimen. Maybe, you know, it's just something that's not good for you. Let this be the week that we put it down. Maybe it's not a sin, but it's a weight. Maybe, maybe God's convicting you about something because where he's taking you and what he needs to do in you, that maybe you can't touch this or you can't. Come on, maybe it's maybe it's a type of music you've been listening to that it's like, mm, that's not feeding your spirit, man of God. That's that's not feeding your spirit. And maybe he's he's tugging on you to put it down. Maybe it's certain particular shows or movies or TV programs, and and maybe it stirs up something in you. Maybe it and maybe Holy Spirit's been dealing with you. Put it down. Let this be the week. You know, Paul says in Romans chapter 12, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body, that you present your body a living sacrifice. So we're always, you all know, we're always coming before the Lord. We're always, you know, God will show us this or God will show us. Maybe it's an attitude. Maybe it's a tone of voice. It's too sharp. You know, you know, women, we like to talk and, you know, God gave us a, the gift of gab, but maybe, but maybe we're talking too much and we're saying too much and maybe gossip has came in there. Or maybe we're talking too sharp to our husbands and we need to tone it back. Come on and commit that to prayer. Husbands, maybe you're talking too strong and God wants you to tone it back. What is it? What is it? What is it that could be leaven today? Maybe it's just straight out sin. Maybe it's something in the secret that, you know, just you know about, but God knows about it. And he's saying, put it down, put it down. Come on. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this special week, this special day in Exodus that you told the Jews to remember. And we've been engrafted into this great family. And Father, we thank you for saving us from our, from our own Egypts. We, 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 we thank you for bringing us out with your mighty hand. We thank you, Lord God, that we are amongst <laughs> this great family of believers. And even as our brothers and sisters are stopping and taking the time for the Passover feast and meal and seven days of unleavened bread, Father, let this be a time that we as, we, we as well, Father, stop to allow times of purging. Maybe there's bitterness. Maybe there's unforgiveness in us. Maybe there's anger about something that happened. Maybe there's tension between a mom and a child, a father and a son. Maybe maybe the husbands and wives are, are, are bickering and fighting, but let this be a week. Let this be a time that we sit, God, and say, Lord, I, I, I put this, this anger on the altar. I put this unforgiveness on the altar. Father, I, I put this, whatever it is, Father, I put it on the altar today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I, I, I want to give my attention to thanking you for saving me. We want to give our attention to your love, to your goodness, to your grace that you showed us. Father, we want to take the time to say thank you. And I pray this week that we just lay it on the altar, that we just present our bodies a living sacrifice, that we lay it all out today that we harbor no sin, that there be no secret sin. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you that we will expect supernatural help. 
even help to let go of some things that we've been holding on to, even help to forgive somebody that maybe have done us wrong to, to help God to walk in the love of God, help God to be at peace where, where we've been at odds. God, help this week, God. Glory to God. Oh God, let there be times of fasting this week. Let there be times of stealing away in prayer. Let there be times of just sitting to hear Holy Spirit and what he has, to, what you have to say. God, let there be time this week that we give. And we thank you and we praise you and we glorify you that your people are walking in strength. Your people are walking in the love of God, the peace of God the joy of the Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. And we thank you, God, that as we stay covered in the blood, as we stay covered in the blood of Jesus, and as we plead the blood over our children, over our homes, over our lives, over everything that you've given us, that the enemy will have to pass over. Glory to God. Where the enemy may try to touch us here and touch us there, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus will keep the enemy away. Even as the death angel passed over them because he saw the blood on their doorposts. Oh God, we thank you with all the turbulence everywhere, bullets flying and, you know, weather patterns, chaotic, so many things. Father, thank you that the blood Hallelujah. We'll keep our children and our grandchildren at the schoolhouse and the and 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 we'll keep God our sons and daughters as they drive up and down the dangerous highways. And God, as we're hearing this store and that store and moving about, oh God, let the blood keep us covered where the enemy will have to pass over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for your keeping power in this day, your keeping power. Thank you, Lord. Let us not leave until you call us home. No premature deaths. Let us live out our days. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us live out our days. Hallelujah. Till you call us home. No premature death. We just cancel that. No premature death. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a long life, have you satisfied us with long life? And even that one that's been the enemy's been trying to torment you about, you know, you, you know, you don't have much longer. And just really, I just sense that he's been tormenting somebody about 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 death with long life. Will he satisfy you? Hallelujah. And you will live out the days that he has predestined for you until the Lord call you home. Glory to God. We come against and we cancel that tormenting spirit against your mind in the name of even trying to come in your dreams and show you funerals and show you uh, just, mm -mm, I just see this. You, you're a liar. And we declare peace over your mind. Peace over your mind. You will live out your days until the Lord call you home. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody receive that. We're going to live out our days till the Lord call us home. Glory to God. We just receive it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Blessings and favor and glory to each one of you. Amen. We're in agreement with you. Glory to God. God bless you, Charmaine. So glad to see you on. Glory to God. God bless you. You all go in the love of God, the peace of God. I'm going to put up something special on my page um, here in just a few minutes, something that we're releasing uh, this week, something new from Remnant Nation. I'm excited about it. God bless you. We love you. Until next time. Amen. God bless you. Stay in the love of God. Glory.